Left's lead arm, left hand for the right-handed golfer. The more you begin with your arm twisted over there or your wrist over there, the more easily you can then twist the club face close at impact. So if I start way over here, this would be a lot. I can twist it more easily. A quick word of caution though. I would, many people grip the club too much in the palm of this lead hand, and that generally causes not only lack of mobility in the wrist, causes a weak grip. The club tends to hug the side of the shaft. Don't take a palm grip and wrench it over. Not a good idea. Let the grip fall down into the crevice across the diagonally across the base of the fingers. Once that palm's more on top of the handle, you should wrap over sufficiently. Specifically, let's talk about the arm swing plane. Listen, if you get upright, there's some great players that do that. Fred Couples is pretty upright. There's nothing wrong with his downswing plane. You have more of a burden to be able to drop the thing in coming down. That isn't easy for most people to do. So I recommend the left arm plane, lead arm if you like, more across the shoulder plane. Now a couple of key thoughts on that. Number one, don't confuse a little bit flatter arm plane with whipping the club inside. That is a disaster if you do that. So what we're saying, keep the club in front of you but arms more across your body. Here's a little exercise I think super helpful for that. Get your golf set up, just put your arms out like so and make a pivot and here's the goal you should feel like your arms are almost perpendicular to your turn. So most golfers need to stay over the ball more with their body and swing their arms more diagonally behind them so they get this sort of a look. The look I see most often, golfers pull away and then their arms go up. Practice that a little bit.